I'm Janelle and this is to DIY for we are full blown in summer vacation mode I'm in fact about to head on vacation with my family and we play a lot of yard games you know you want to spend time outside give yourself something to do they're really easy to DIY I'm going to show you two different versions today one that completely came from the dollar store so it's really affordable to do but uh, the other version I think actually both versions would be great for an outdoor wedding. I mean, how good would it be to give your guests a little something to do, have fun uh, during the cocktail hour if you're having an outdoor wedding? So I think that these ideas would work great for that and they are cheap to make. Okay, so first off, I started with these three different sized buckets. I picked them all up at the dollar store. You want a large bucket, medium bucket, and a small bucket. Basically, the openings should be different sized. Then you're going to need a piece of wood. That's just a scrap piece that I had. And we're going to mount these buckets onto the board that we have. So before you do all of that, you're going to want to mark your buckets to uh, keep track of your points. The largest bucket, I have drawn on a number one with a marker. You could paint this on or use stickers as well. And then three for the medium bucket, five for the smallest bucket because it will be the hardest to get so this is just me showing you kind of an alternative on how I'm deciding to hang this bucket in particular I just did that with some jute rope and kind of gave it a little extra hanger so I could hook it onto the nail uh, the other buckets are just hanging from nails and you know what I would probably suggest screwing through the bucket into the board because they kind of fell off a couple of times when I was playing this game so that would be a good idea in hindsight. Now, because I thought maybe this would be nice at a wedding, I thought you could decorate the top of it. This is me just uh, using some things that I picked up at the dollar store and kind of creating a little piece there for the top. You can decorate it how you please if you are, say, going to be using this for a wedding. Next, we have to make our bean bag. So this was the simplest way I could figure out how to do it. Here I have folded over the fabric. We're gonna do a single stitch, a double stitch, and then another space, and then a double stitch, and then a single stitch. And you'll understand why next. So basically, I'm just going straight up with that stitch from the fold to the opening of the fabric there. So as you can see now, I have three different pockets, and they are all in line keeping this fabric together. Next, we just have to fill these pockets with some beans. These are dry beans that I just had in my kitchen. You could also probably use rice as well, but uh, this is just what I had. So once you've filled in your beans, and if you want to be accurate, you can. I definitely didn't. We're just going to stitch all the way across the top to close up all of those pockets. Make sure you double back on some of the stitching when you are going... Um, through some of the intersections of the stitching. So because we did the double stitch there in between those pockets, that means that they each have a stitch line on either side and you can just cut straight up the middle of it. And again, the only reason I did this is because I thought it was the quickest way to create these pockets instead of doing a lot of extra cutting and sewing. And do that with two different types of fabric so you can have two players. Next, uh, this is super simple, a tic-tac-toe board. Everything I got for this is from the dollar store. I'm using some coffee sticks here just because they're a little longer than popsicle sticks but I did double them up hot glued them together to create an X and then I went back with some jute to just uh, make sure that that was a little bit more sturdy than the hot glue and it kind of adds a little aesthetic as well to it so I just hot glued that into place and those are my X's and as for the O's I used a thicker jute that I again picked up at the dollar store you just cut it you hot glue it to itself and again I went back with a thinner jute and I wrapped that around that kind of seam that I just made it makes it look a lot nicer but also is going to uh, make it a lot stronger because I was worried that it might come on done so with these you need to make four of each four x's four o's and then the only other thing you need is again from the dollar store these are some bamboo sticks that i picked up so uh they come in like a pack of eight or something i just doubled them up here to create my tic-tac-toe board you can do this in lots of different ways and then you can begin playing and yes that's me playing against myself
so which game is your favorite? You can leave that down in the comments below. I've got to say it's definitely the beanbag toss one. You can make it more difficult by standing further away and it's just more challenging than tic-tac-toe but I definitely like both options and I think it'd be great to have a ton of different games for your wedding guests to play if you do do this as a as a wedding theme I mean you could do it for your backyard party that you might be throwing a barbecue or whatnot uh, if you do like these DIYs and you try them out for yourself please send me some photos of them you can follow me on Instagram and on Twitter at Janelle Steeper and then just tag me in those photos so I can check out your DIYs now don't forget to subscribe I will be back next Wednesday even though I am on vacation <laughs> there will be a video for you so you can check it out by making sure you subscribe so you don't miss a video. Cheers and I'll talk to you next week.